Good morning. I'm actually a newbie. I don't know how I'm going to follow any of this, so bear with me. My name is Marianne Santucci, and I'm not an alcoholic. I am a T cell cutaneous lymphoma patient. And I, I have to think, I have to focus because there's so much to say because my story is so long and I have to keep it short. I was born in Connecticut and I was raised in a little coastal town called Milford, Connecticut. And we called it the armpit of Long Island Sound. So it wasn't like Christmas in Connecticut. But it was a small town and everyone knew each other. I was the oldest of 10 siblings. And the first rash I ever saw was diaper rash. I never imagined a skin disease like this. I'm still learning. I think we still are learning and I have a lot more to learn. Um, the only, and out of 10 siblings, and everyone I knew in my town, the only outburst of skin problems was measles and chickenpox and the occasional diaper rash. Oh, and hives. We can't leave the hives out. So that's all I knew about this type of cancer. And fast forward 20 years, I my first job was with, with in-house counsel for Yale University School of Medicine which was 10 minutes away from my home and past, well, let's push forward 50 years. I just retired within that profession. So I worked hard and bam, I have cutaneous T cell lymphoma, which I knew nothing about. And I'm still learning and I'm very grateful to this foundation and I'm glad I found it. Where I started with the rash was approximately eight years ago. And it was a small rash right here below my ribs. I went to my primary. He referred me to a dermatologist who told me it was my hygiene. I said, oh, I think I took a shower this morning anyway. Uh, I knew that was wrong, but I, I, again, I had no clue. So I was diagnosed with some hives, dermatitis, the usual topicals. And that went on for several years. And the rash continued to grow. And it would get just spread, horrific itch, terrible pain, fatigue. I couldn't sleep at night. And I'm sure every, there are more people in this room that have felt this longer than I have. And, but I was ignoring my symptoms. Because when I walked in to see a doctor and I was told it was this, I wanted to hear that. No one wants to hear that you have something terminal or something unknown or something that would need further treatment. So I, I ignored all my symptoms, really. And I'm not blaming myself, but I wish I had sought out the proper experts way back when. But here I am today, so let's forget about the past and move to the future. Uh, this rash grew and grew and grew. I went to another dermatologist who told me I had eczema. Again, series of the topicals, horrific itch, pain, uh, it, 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 unbearable, and nothing was working. So they put me on a drug called Dupixin, which I had a severe, severe reaction to. A, a severe reaction to. And they, they, they took me off the Dupixin. And I said, I have got to get another opinion. Something is going on here. So one year ago, on August 15th, to be exact, I went back home to my little coastal town in Milford. And it was my 50th high school reunion. And I said, you know, I'm really close to my old stomping grounds. So I was able to get a consult at Yale University School of Medicine. One lab, one exam, and one pathology report diagnosed me with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. So here I am, coincidence, 10 minutes away from my hometown. Now, do I move back to my hometown? Where, where, where am I going to go? Moffitt Cancer Center. 
10 minutes away from my home in Tampa, where I have resided since 1979. It's, like, it's almost like a vicious circle, isn't it? But I'm here, so there's got to be a reason for that. I have an amazing clinical team. Uh, and by the way, they put me on the uh, photophoresis and then on a biomed. And I'm going to have to say MOGA because I not, cannot pronounce. The, it's so long I can't pronounce it now. I really mess it up. But the, I had a severe reaction to the, to the MOGA. And as you all may know, this is an individualized uh, disease. We all react differently. Some formulas work. Some don't. You, it's, a, it's, a con, it's a constant trying ordeal. But I'm grateful to say that I'm in remission. But we all know what that is. We don't know for how long. But I'm enjoying my life today. Thanks to these two gentlemen here and their entire staff. And now I have found the foundation. You're not getting rid of me. Because as long as I live, I am, I, I've got to give back. As long as I'm feeling good, I can't wait to talk to other patients and listen to their journey. And it, it gives me strength to push forward. Uh, I, you know, I was an athlete growing up, and I was always strong because I was the oldest. And I still am. And I think that's helped me to get to the point I am now. And I'm going to continue to fight for how long, who knows. I'm just happy to be here, healthy right now. And I want to share my life with my grandchildren. I just had a great grandchild on the way. And uh, just live freely, have a lot of fun, because I, didn't, yeah, I don't want to miss out on any fun. Mm -mm. And continue with my treatments and thank my amazing team. I don't, I, I'm just rambling, uh, but that, that was my journey. A, a misdiagnosis of eight years, and who knows, I could have, it could go back to the time I was jumping in the puddles and slinging muds at my brother. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe those little breakouts were cute. Who knows? We just don't know. But we're here to find the answers, work together to find the answers, and I'm here, I'm here to help. And I, I can't wait to talk to everyone and, and share your own stories. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it.